everybody. I'm Mr. Bullock here, and this is uh, solving linear uh, linear equations or inequalities, actually, in absolute value uh, equations and inequalities. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Should be from this is a, I taught this in my algebra one class, so this should be a, a review with you guys. Might have forgotten how to do it, but we'll go kind of fast here. So solve each inequality and then graph the solution. So we're going to graph them on a number line. Okay, on this one, 7x minus 4 greater than 5x plus 2. Okay, here I'm going to subtract uh, the 5x on both sides and add this 4 to both sides. Okay, so notice I color-coded them. Subtracted a blue 5x on both sides and added a red 4 on both sides. Okay, when I do that, I get 2x is greater than 6, so x is greater than 3, so that is an open circle. And as long as your variable is on the left, then the inequality tells you which way to shade. It's pointing to the right, so I'm going to put an open circle on 3 and shade it to the right. Okay, there it is right there. All right, okay, so this one here, this one's going to be uh, shaded in between two numbers right here. When they're written like this, it's shaded in between two numbers. So I'm going to add 10 to all three pieces here, here, and here. Okay, so when I add 10, uh, I get uh, uh, that right there, and then I'm going to divide everything by 6, and I get that. Okay, open circle on 1, close circle on 4, and it's shaded in between the two, okay? All right, so typically when it's written with your x in between two inequalities, your graph is going to be shaded in between two numbers. Okay, you just got to figure out which two numbers. All right, if you see an or, that means typically, you guys, it's going to be shaded in this direction and a number over here in this direction. There's exceptions, and I'll show you one of them here. But typically, ors are two numbers shaded in opposite directions. Okay, so here I'm going to go plus 1, plus 1. Here I'm going to go minus 3, minus 3. Okay, ready? Here we go. And then here I'm going to divide by 2. I get x is less than or equal to, closed circle, negative 3. And as long as x is on the left, then the inequality tells me to shade it this way. Okay? Divide by 4. I get x is greater than or equal to 1, closed circle on 1, and going to the right of 1. Okay? You see the word or. Typically, your graphs are two numbers shaded in opposite directions. And usually there's a gap in between the two numbers. I'll show you an exception. Um, uh, right here, I think it is. Okay, so here I'm going to go minus 3, minus 3. Here I'm going to go minus 1, minus 1. Okay, so when I do that, don't forget there's a negative in front of there. So I'm going to go now, divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. On this one, I'm going to divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5. Okay, remember when you divide by negatives, it flips those inequalities. So this one's going uh, to the right now, and this one's going to the left right here. Okay, so here I get uh, x. Over here is going to be greater than negative 2, okay? And then here, uh, x is less than negative 1. Okay, now let's graph greater than negative 2, okay? Greater than negative 2, I'll do an open circle right there, and it's, I'll do it up here shaded to the right. Less than negative 1. Well, negative 1's here. Less than would be over there. And or means it can be either or, you guys. So you can pick either or of those graphs. And, and when you look at or, the whole number line's being shaved, or, or being shaded, not shaved. Uh, it's being shaded. So it's all real numbers, okay? If it was an and statement, I just want the intersection of the two. But an or statement means it could be this blue stuff or this red stuff. So it's everything that, that's being covered. The whole number line is being covered between the two. And or says you can pick either graph. So uh, the whole number line is being picked with this graph or this graph. So the answer is all real numbers. All right, let's try some absolute values here. All right, remember, um, uh, mathematically, x is going to equal plus or minus 3. And when I graph that, those are just solid dots at plus or minus 3. Okay, so I'm going to use that concept right here. When I have an absolute value equals 7, then this stuff inside is going to equal plus or minus 7, just like it equaled plus or minus 3 up above there. Now I'm just going to go plus 5 plus 5. Okay, so it's 5 plus 7 or 5 minus 7, so I get 12 or negative 2. And so there it is, graph right there at 12 or negative 2. Okay, uh, when it's just equals, it's just a dot on those, okay? And so when it's uh, greater than, then it's shaded. If it's less than, shaded. Or But uh, equals is just that. Okay, for this right here, um, less than, I like to think of distance from 0 on a number line, you guys. And this says all x's that are less than 3 from 0. So I'm going to show you the graph answer first. There's all points that are less than 3 units away from 0. Absolute value is the same as distance from 0. Okay, so to show you the graph answer, I can show you the algebra answer really easy. Can you see this algebra answer creates this guy right here? 
Okay, so I'm going to use this concept for this guy. Can you see that the absolute value or the inequality is pointing towards the absolute value, just like this inequality is pointing towards the absolute value? So I'm going to write this just like this right here, except it's going to be negative 7 over here, positive 7 over here, and in the middle is going to be the 4x minus 9. Okay, and then I go ahead and solve that. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and then divide by 4. And I get 1 half is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 4. And then there's the answer right there. Okay, whoops, I did negative a half. Sorry, this graph should be right here at positive a half. Sorry, this closed circle should be right here. Got a little carried away right there. Okay, you guys can fix that though, right? Okay, uh, x is greater than 3. Again, I'm going to show you the graph answer. There's greater than 3 units away from 0. Okay, so then uh, there's the algebra answer, so I'm going to use that concept with that. My wife's coming home, so my dogs are barking in the background right there. Okay, uh, so you go ahead and solve those guys, just like you did up above there, and there's the graph answer, and i got to quickly go before she comes in and they go really berserk. There's my homework for my students in my class. Okay, good job.